welcome back to Creative Packaging. It is early in the morning. I turned on the lights, just woke up my bedas, and not even my lights are not even all on yet, but I wanted to give you guys a closer look at some of the bedas that start to marble. Because everyone was super, super slow to marble until I think about two weeks ago, they finally started changing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uncard them really quick so they can have their little morning exercise flare a little. The nice thing about flaring your bettas is that it also helps them poop. All the exercise helps prevent them from getting constipated, which is kind of helpful. And these guys get about, I would say five minutes of flaring a day. So it's not really a lot, but it's enough to stimulate them and get them to get exercise, which is really good for them. I wanted to show you how a lot of them have been marbling and changing. Uh, this is one of the runts that I've had and he has really, really started to blossom and grow. He's been really tiny for a long time and finally he's starting to catch up to everyone in size and his pattern is so, so unique because he's actually transparent in the middle and it kind of a little bit looks like a heart. Um, he's very sassy. Look, he's, he's out here. He just sees me filming and he's like, I will fight you. I will tell you. I will show you I'm pretty and then I will fight you. That's for sure. Then we have some of the cellophanes that are starting to color up. This one went full out and decided to just become almost entirely red. We have some other ones, this little female starting to marble into um, a black color. This female is black and red and looks really, really cool. Also, she's very, very big, which I really, really like. She's kind of one of my favorites, I think. This particular male has a cool pattern on his tail, which looks really, really awesome. And we have this one that's just slightly marbling. So it's really exciting to see this because when you buy a cellophane better for me, it may potentially end up marbling to any of these patterns or may stay cellophane, who knows? It's a fun mystery. We also have one more Tancho female, which is really, really cool. Some of you asked if my other Tancho is kind of retaining his pattern and he kind of is. It is spreading a little bit on his head and he's got a little dot on his tail, but for the most part, He's looking pretty good. Hello, sir. Would you like to follow my finger and do a little flare, maybe? Maybe he's like, it's early in the morning. Why are you bothering me, woman? My light is not even on. So today on the menu, we're gonna feed them some betta pellets. I feed my bettas a wide variety of different foods. They're gonna get quite a bit today because today is water change day. And the reason I feed them a wide variety of foods is because when they go to their new homes, I want them to be able to eat what they get. And as you can see, they get a couple pellets each. I don't do the whole like feed them the size of an eye kind of thing because their stomachs expand and I have not had any fish that were constipated. So they got quite a bit. They get to munch on their breakfast. Yeah, they're gonna be nice and full for the rest of the day. They'll be able to rest and not be bothered now that they are carded. And this is kind of this fun little preview where you get to see how these fish have been developing and changing. Um, even though it was not something I planned for with this particular spawn, usually I would not keep my fish this long after I've bred them. I think it's actually been a really cool experience for me to see how they are developing to see if they develop any issues such as tumors which usually happen a little later in life for a betta. It gives me a better grasp of the health of my spawn and a better idea of what they will end up developing into because they did not end up marbling until very recently and if I would have sold them off a lot earlier when they didn't marble unless someone sent me pictures to update me of the fish I would not be able to see what they turned out into so I think that's the kind of cool little bonus of having my fish a little bit extra longer than usual. Mm -hmm. 